Are you looking to get a smartwatch and can't decide on which one to go for? Hi, my name is Alex and in this video I will tell you why you need to consider the Galaxy Watch Active 2 from Samsung. Now you must be thinking it is 2021 and this watch is from the fourth quarter of 2019 but it still does very well. I have been using mine for the last six months and I'm very happy with its performance. The smartwatch comes in a tiny box and only with a wireless charging cable, so there is no wall charger, just like the new Samsung or iPhone flagships. There is the option to choose from two sizes, 40mm and 44mm. Mine is the 44mm version and it looked very chunky and big when I first got it, but I got used to it in a short period of time. And speaking of options and versions, you can choose between the Bluetooth version and the 4G one. I went for the Bluetooth version as I do not need another contract to pay for. The Active 2 has a round, thick aluminium case with two buttons and a microphone on one side and the speaker on the other side. At the back it has the heart rate monitor. The second button is to turn on and off the watch and to access the menu. The top one is to return to the previous menu or to exit the menu and if it is pressed for a couple of seconds it activates Samsung Pay. I really like the strap that this watch comes with. It is made of silicon, but hear me out, it is nice at touch, it has a matte black finish and doesn't attract particles nor dust, quite opposite to the one on the Forces Sport smartwatch. If you want to see that review, just click on the card above. The menu is very easy to use. To see the notifications, just slide to the right. To access the widgets, just slide to the left. To access the quick panel, just slide from top to bottom. The Samsung smartwatch's trademark is the physical rotating bezel, like the one on the Frontier or on the Galaxy Watch. But this smartwatch doesn't have a physical rotating bezel, it has a digital one. It works the same as the normal one, just move your finger on the edge of the watch to slide through the menus or through the apps. It also works when the screen is on idle. The screen stretches from one edge to the other and it is very easy to scratch or to chip it. Probably this is the only downside in regards to the design. The screen is prone to scratches, that's why I use this screen protector. Well, it is more like a full watch protector because it covers the screen and the watch and it protects it against scratches and any damages. It is so thin that you can't say that I have a case on the watch. It doesn't make it bigger at all. I will leave the link to this product in the description below. This smartwatch charges wireless via the included charger. It is not magnetic, so make sure that the watch is fitted properly. It can also charge via any wireless chargers or even via PowerShare from your Samsung smartphone. I only use the included wireless charger when I travel because it doesn't take much space. I got the Samsung Charger Duo Pad with the watch and I can charge my smartwatch and my smartphone in the same time. It offers fast charge and it is very handy and looks nice on the desk. I will add the link in the description below. What is the product review without the extra specs of the product? As you can see on the screen, this is a powerful device on the wrist. To set up the watch, there is the need of the Galaxy Wearable app to be installed on the device. This app is actually a mirror of what can be done on the watch, but I feel that it is a lot faster to do the settings or change watch faces or add widgets than to actually do it on the smartwatch. As this is a smartwatch, it will receive all the notifications as the phone. It can receive calls and can actually answer calls and talk on the watch itself and can also reply to text messages. But as this is a sports smartwatch, it uses Samsung Health as the fitness app. It is very good to be honest and has loads of info and exercises. The watch constantly records the heart rate while doing any exercise, track the sleep, the numbers of floors climbed and the stress level. In terms of exercises, there are a couple of them pre-installed, but you will need to follow the instruction for it to record accordingly. I like that after I finish an exercise, I have the option to choose whether I want to jump to another exercise or to finish the workout. Another great feature is that it starts to record walking, running and cycling automatically after 10 minutes. You might have heard about the ECG or electrocardiogram tracker. 
Unfortunately, I was not able to test it because it will only be available in the UK at the end of February or probably during March. So feel free to subscribe to my channel because I will do a video about it. And speaking about future videos, in the next one I will tell you my top 5 things that I like about this smartwatch. So consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. The Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 is a powerful device packed with loads of technology. In one way it justifies the price of £219 and can be found cheaper if you keep your eyes open for deals. The native health app is super easy to use and offers loads of information. The watch is very light and comfortable although it looks big. It can be used to answer phone calls, to reply to text messages, listen to music, set alarms, pay contactless, track physical activities and from later this year check the heart rate and rhythm thanks to the ECG tracker. Is it a great smartwatch? Yes it is, even in 2021. I have been using mine for the last 6 months and I am very happy with its performance. If you are thinking of getting one, I will leave the link to it in the description below. It is an affiliate link so please use it because it will help the channel. Hit the like button if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.